Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we're going to need both RAM functions and the unit step function to represent this input. Well, first of all, let's take care of the first five seconds. Starting from zero to five, this is obviously a RAM function. And notice that the slope is a rise of 10 over a run of five. The slope is equal to two. So for this first five seconds, we can represent the function as follows. f of t is equal to two times, because that's the slope, times the RAM function with no offset in time. Now we want to negate that ramp, so we need to add a negative ramp of the same slope to negate the ramp. So now we need a minus two times the RAM function, but this RAM function will be offset by five seconds, so we need t minus five. But all that does is then make sure we don't have a slope after this point. That's what the minus two R of t minus five gives you. If you want to get back down to zero, if you double this, you will continue in this fashion like we saw in the previous example, so that won't work either. Somehow, since we're up here with an amplitude of 10, we need to bring it down to zero. We can do that by adding a negative step function. So we also add a minus 10 because at this point, we're up here at amplitude 10. We need to come back down to zero. So minus 10 times the unit step function, which is also offset by five seconds. So we go t minus five. And then if we want to pull out a two, we can do that. We can say this is equal to two times the RAM function starting at zero minus the RAM function starting at five seconds and then minus five times the unit step function at t minus five. Either way, it's a good representation of this particular input. And that's how it's done.